everyone, Petal is Bless here. I'm coming on today to share with you guys two blinked out decor boxes that I want to make. So let's get into the items that we'll be using to make these boxes. Okay, I got this box here from um, my local Dollar and More store. It's just a little box. You guys can use any square box. It's wood. And I got this box here from the Dollar Tree. And it has a little lid. Nice little square box I got from the Dollar Tree. And I'll be using the bling wrap. <laughs> and I'll also be using my gems from Dollarama. And I'll also be using these paints. Um, I have the gray paint here, silver. And I have white paint. I'm not sure which one I'll be using, but I'll be using one of them. And we have our handy tools, our paintbrush and our scissors. And we have our glue gun. Alright everyone, let's get started! All right, everyone, we're going to start with painting our box with the silver paint. Yes. <laughs> and we're just going to paint all the way around the boxes, all the sides. I'll be putting about two or three coats over this because um, the bright pattern that's on the box, two or three coats will cover it up. And for the wood box, I'm going to be using the silver metallic paint. Alright you guys, I'm going to paint all the way around, all the sides, all the corners <laughs> on this box. And I'll be doing about two coats on the wood box. I think that should be enough. Two coats of paint. And here's our first box all dry. And I did have to use three coats, you guys. To get rid of the design that was on the box, three coats. So now we're going to bling out this box with our bling wrap. Which I've cut the length that I need. And we're just going to glue it going all the way around. Now I'm using this little spatula. I got it from um, a lady I was watching. I don't remember her name. But she had mentioned that she sent it from somebody else here on YouTube. And she uses a little spatula now because it helps with the glue on your hand. Yes, the glue is hot. So it's good to use something to help press it down. And yes, I do get burns, ladies. I do sometimes, but I try my best not to. Okay. And now we're just going to bling out the top part of the box. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention... I did glue the lid down to the box. I didn't show that part. I just added some hot glue on the inside of the lid and then pressed it down onto the box because I'm not going to use it to open to store anything. I'm just using it for decorative reasons. So I just glued it down. And I'm going to go all the way around with the bling. Now we're going to do the top part of the box. I'm putting these strips. And I'll be doing the four corners with the strips. And now we're adding some rhinestones to the top part of the box. And now for our wood box, you guys, I used two coats of paint. And now we're just going to bling out this box with the rhinestones. Oh boy. <laughs> You know I love my bling and I wanted a bling box, so I'm just going to bling it out. Oh 
Okay, now we're doing the top of the box. I like using the glue gun, but the only thing I hate about the glue gun is that it's very stringy. This glue, it's very, very stringy. Like, as you can see, the streaks of the, the glue, the strings, but all you have to do is just clean them off when you're done. You just ripe them and they come off very easy. But that's the only thing I hate about the glue gun. Oh boy. <laughs> and here's our finished look, you guys. Our blinged out decor boxes. You know I'm going to say I love them. <laughs> I just love everything that's blinked out. I think they look very nice. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to go with the silver paint and the silver metallic paint also. I was going to use the white paint, but I think the rhinestones look very nice against the silver background. I think they'll make a nice little decor piece in your home. You can place them in your office in your dining in your bedroom in your living space i think they'll just add a little bling to wherever you put them a little bit more pizzazz from my point of view because you know i just love bling i like anything shiny and nice so i think it's a nice decor piece i like the way they turned out All right, everyone, I hope I've inspired you with another blinged out home decor idea for you to use. And if you'd like to see more of the DIY ideas that I have to come up with, don't forget to press that subscribe button and also like, comment, and share. All right, everyone, thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had today. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Less. Bye bye everyone. Yeah, hate you. Yeah.